Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a tape stop effect and automate that tape stop effect using the Remix Effects plugin in Logic Pro 10. So what would you maybe want to use a tape stop effect for? I like using them as a transition point or a pivot point between two different sections. Like if I want all of the sound of one section to sort of drop out to nothing and then the next uh, section comes in. So sometimes when one section just stops and there's silence for a moment and then the next section comes in, it makes that next section have more emphasis to it. It hits harder. So let me show you uh, what I have right now. I have this intro section here, with just a beat and uh, some strings, and then it goes into the main beat. So let's just give this a listen as is. So I want to create a tape stop effect in between the intro and the rest of the beat. Now one way you could do this is you could put the Remix Effects plugin, it's uh, down under Multi Effects here, you could put the Remix Effects plugin directly on your stereo output track and that will apply the Remix Effects to everything. And the button we're going to use in Remix is this stop button right here, this is the tape stop button. This is actually two buttons. On the right side is a quicker tape stop, and on the left is a slower tape stop. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Something like that. I want the tape stop to be like right here. So I actually find it better to put remix effects just on the tracks that you want to use it on. So I've actually separated the intro here to three separate tracks so they're not sharing any tracks with any of these other instruments. And instead of putting remix effects on the stereo output, I'm gonna create a track stack out of these three intro instruments. So I'll go up to track, create track stack. I'll use a summing stack. And essentially that's gonna make all three of these instruments go to the same auxiliary track, or the same bus. The other great thing about using summing stacks is you can use them for bus processing. For example, here I've added a distortion effect to all of these instruments, just to add a little bit of dirt and a little bit of drive to the signal. So next I'm going to add remix effects. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with this button right here. Now the tricky thing about automating the Remix Effects plugin is most of the parameters in here are actually two parameters. So if I just press this button, I'm actually sending a signal to say that this is turned on, the tape stop is on, but there's also another signal being sent saying that it's the faster of the two uh, tape stop effects. And the same goes for pretty much everything here. So it gets a little complicated. You have to kind of play in your live automation, play in the effect live, and then go back and tweak the effect. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so the first thing I'll do is just press A to show automation on my, uh, my track stack here. And then I'm gonna change my automation mode to touch, which is a live automation mode. And now what I can do is I can play in the effect and just press the mouse and it'll record the automation exactly where I want it to go. Okay, so if I click here, you'll see that there's actually two different parameters for the tape stop effect. Again, there's the tape speed, the actual, whether it's the fast tape stop or the, the slower tape stop, and then where it's actually turned on or off. 
So I'm going to change my automation mode back to read mode. Remember that I said I separated these three instruments off of the main beat. I did that for a reason. If you listen to this tape stop effect, you can hear some of the reverb of these sounds come back in after the tape stop. That's not quite what I want. Um, what I can actually do is I can actually pull the tape stop out pretty far. It doesn't really matter where the, the off point is because there's nothing on these tracks at all later on in the song. Now, if you have something in the song right here, right after this, you're going to have to do what I did before and set your tape stop exactly where you want it to go. But for me, I have nothing else on this track, so I can pull this out a bit. So now what this will do is it will make sure that I have silence on this track for this entire area here where the tape stop is engaged. Another way to deal with this, if you have to use a shorter tape stop length and you don't want that sound sort of bleeding over, you can show your automation for your volume and you can automate the volume down after the tape stop to ensure that you get nothing. Like if you have a really long reverb tail or something that's ringing out, you can use automation, uh, volume automation to correct that. But, but in most situations, you can just pull out the length of the tape stop and it'll just cut to silence. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That is how you can use remix effects in Logic Pro 10 to create a tape stop transition effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.